In every area of our human lives, new technologies are being used to improve how we do things within the shortest possible time. The military is definitely not being left out of these technological advancements, with modern weapons like submarines, tanks, rifles, and aircrafts greatly increasing the chances of winning a war. But what is the single most important gadget a soldier can use for his or her protection? The answer is certainly their uniforms. So, today, we are going to look at some of the coolest, most powerful, and futuristic military uniforms around the world. I'm gonna give you 60 seconds to deal with it. Yes, sir. Cool. This video aims to give you a sneak peek of how the soldiers will look like. Welcome to another episode of Forever Green, and this time, we will be taking you through a list of the most advanced, most sophisticated military uniform. Number one will definitely blow your mind. Stick around. We've put together the most breathtaking and futuristic battlesuits in the world, some of which are... Get ready. 30 seconds to drop. Future Force Warrior, FFW. The United States has long been regarded as one of the pioneers of warfare and weaponry advancement, and the Future Force Warrior is one of their many military projects. The Future Force Warrior is a project being carried out by the United States Military Department, which is also part of the Future Combat System Project, a principal modernization program initiated in 2003. The suit will have four basic components, which are the helmet, liquid body armor, warrior physiological monitoring system, and an exoskeleton, all of which combines to create a uniform that protects, informs, and enhances the abilities of anyone who wears it. The FFW goal is to create lightweight, durable, and impact-resistant battlesuits with the help of some technologies like nanotechnology, powered exoskeletons, and magnetoriological fluid-based systems. Main focus in science and technology is to reduce the physical burden imposed on soldiers. Now, let's take a closer look at the features of each of the components. The helmet will have a voice-activated, drop-down screen that provides information to the soldier without putting down his or her weapon. Embedded in a pair of transparent glasses, the display will appear to the soldier as a 17-inch screen. Quite awesome, right? The screen will also display maps, real-time video provided by a forward-positioned team of scouts, satellites, or aircraft. The surrounding or fellow soldiers aren't the only things future warriors will know more about but they will know more about their own physiological condition. The physiological subsystem of the suit lies against the soldier's skin. It contains sensors that monitor the soldier's core body temperature, heart rate, skin temperature, standing or sitting position, and hydration levels. The FFW will also have a 360-degree awareness and voice amplification feature, which will allow soldiers to detect other soldiers in front of them up to a few kilometers away. Focus in on a particular sound and amplify it among other things. The suit will be powered by a 2 to 20 watts micro turbine generator fueled by a liquid hydrocarbon. 10 ounces of this liquid hydrocarbon will be able to power the soldier's uniform for six days nonstop. This futuristic suit will feature a new breed of armor made from magnetological fluids, MR, also known as liquid body armor, which will become hard as a rock at the push of a button by the soldier. The suit will also feature an exoskeleton, which, when combined with the nanobots on the suit, will give the soldier 300% more power. The new FFW suit will take human performance to unparalleled levels. Picture a platoon of soldiers wearing suits that turns a regular person into a real-life superhero. Onyx. The Lockheed Martin's Onyx is an exoskeleton system worn around the legs to improve the strength, endurance, and protect the wearer from strain injury. The exoskeleton is basically a robotic, motorized knee brace. Onyx has been proven to increase mobility and reduce the fatigue of its wearer. It simply reduces the amount of effort put into movement such as walking, climbing, or lifting a heavy object off the ground. How is this even possible, you might wonder? Well. Onyx conforms to the human body, and the sensors distributed on the exoskeleton reports direction, speed, and the angle of movement to a computer embedded in the exoskeleton, which in turn drives electromechanical actuators at the knees. The exoskeleton provides the right amount of torque at the right time to assist knee flexion and extension. The exoskeleton is powered by a battery that powers it for eight hours straight without recharging. 
So I think when this is used in operations, it keeps our troops safer because it makes them stronger and improves endurance. The goal is to ultimately reduce the energy needed to cross terrain, kneel, squat, or jump. Its effect is most notable when ascending or descending stairs or navigating inclined surfaces, such as the Afghan mountainsides and urban staircases. In conjunction with Lockheed Martin, the U.S. Army is working round the clock to get these exoskeletons ready for use for their foot soldiers to go the extra mile while carrying mission essential equipment and still have the freshness to accomplish their missions. Ratnik 3 United States military counterparts, Russia, are also developing a supersuit of their own at the University of Science and Technology in Moscow called the Ratnik 3, with Ratnik literally meaning warrior in English. The futuristic Ratnik 3 combat suit contains an array of armor and protective pieces from head to toe. It also features a lower body titanium framework built to give the soldier more stamina and strength. The helmet's screen displays medical, reconnaissance, target identifying, and a host of other information. It also comes with a watch. Although it is unclear if all the powers and capabilities claimed by Russia can operate efficiently and effectively in the Ratnik 3, the exoskeleton is proven to be bulletproof, explosion-proof, and fireproof by tests completed by the developers at the Central Research Institute. Now, let's take a closer look at its functionality. The helmet, which is probably the most crucial part of the Ratnik 3, is its display hub for most of the technology. The helmet is being designed to be as light as possible to support and not overstress the soldier's neck. The rest of the headgear is a mask and eyewear that is reinforced for less intense combat. The protective eyeglass is the display screen that houses thermal imaging, reconnaissance, health data, internal and external temperature, target information, and biological data. Inside of the helmet, there is also a breathing apparatus. The arms of the suit are the least technologically advanced, and for good reason. Too much gear will weigh the soldier's arms down and reduce his effectiveness. The only thing equipped on the arms is a nuclear blast-proof watch and shrapnel protection. The watch is practically indestructible and possesses a self-winding mechanism that will keep it accurate at all times, even in poor weather or combat. The torso is where the protection phase of the project comes in. A newly developed fabric makes the soldier invisible to infrared imaging by containing all the heat inside the suit. The proven and tested fully bulletproof vest protects much of the torso, with the underarm and bottom of the belly being the only weak links. The vest of the torso and its fabric are also flame and water resistant. They can function in very extreme weather conditions, between minus 22 degrees to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The boots up to the hips and around the waist are made of a titanium framework, which will redistribute weight while walking and running. The boot also houses the battery, and it happens to be landmine resistant and flameproof. There's continuous development on the suit's medical capacity in the future, which will enable it to stop blood loss due to injury until the arrival of better medical treatment as well as medical monitoring and healing features. Once all the proposed additions are made, the Ratnik 3 will be a machine in a league of its own. Future Integrated Soldier Technology The response of the United Kingdom to the development of high-powered military uniforms by the United States and Russia is the project known as FIST. Future Integrated Soldier Technology FIST, is a project by the British Army, which is aimed at enhancing the infantry's combat effectiveness in the 21st century part of the Future Soldier Project. Thales, a leading technology company, was awarded the contract in March 2003. The goal of the FIST project is to integrate a modular system of all equipment, weapons, and their sighting systems, radios that the individual soldier uses or carries, with the aim of increasing their overall effectiveness on the battlefield. Drop the phone! Drop the phone! Get your hands up! Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground! The development of the project started in 1994, and as of 2015, it was already being implemented in the British Army. More than 30,000 battlesuits have been designed and delivered to Her Majesty's Army. Unlike American and Russian suits, the future British soldier suit's emphasis is placed on the electronics, a target locator, map system, effective rangefinders, electrical and optical converters. All these tools are aimed to help the soldier get the fullest information about his or her surroundings. And because the electric modules are numerous in the suit, the new generation batteries will be an important part of the uniforms. Although small, the battery has a storage capacity that can power the suit for many hours uninterruptedly. However, the intention of the British Army is not to equip every soldier on the battlefield with fist, but to unit commanders so they can be tailored to the situation and mission aims. Feelin. 
Philin, Fantassen a Equipment et Liaisons Integres, which when translated to English means Integrated Infantryman Equipment and Communications, is the name for the French infantry combat system developed by Safran Electronics and Defense, a French company specializing in optronics, avionics, and electronic systems, as well as software for military and civil applications. Phelan is an integrated suit of ultra-modern equipment that addresses all operational requirements, communications, protection, mobility, autonomy, observation, command, and weapon use. Safran has also developed the Sit Comde, System de Information Terminale de Combatant de Barque, a sort of laptop for the platoon leader, which can display his men's position and the photos they send him. Using this touch tablet, he receives instructions from command units, gives orders, and writes reports. The system combines a modified FAMIS, the French military service rifle, with loads of other electronics, pouches, clothing, and body armor. It is the first real integrated system for dismounted warriors, with several innovative solutions that optimize the infantry soldier's operational and decision-making abilities. The feel-in system has cool features such as combat gear, weapon and scope, eyepiece for around-the-corner sighting, communication system, multifunctional binoculars, and terminal information system, making it ideal for airborne use, urban, desert, jungle, and mountain environments. The system concentrates on the soldier's essential functions. The scope enables night attacks within weapon range, and each soldier has his own radio, the RIF individual network. Using a processing unit connected to a small screen no larger than a PDA, the soldier controls image transmissions, energy source, and the interface between all components and radio links. He is also equipped with an osteoporotic headband that transmits sounds via vibrations, enabling him to communicate while still listening to his surroundings. Of course, the radio features a GPS receiver, which periodically indicates his position to command units. Another important feature of the feel-in suit is its sweat-removing mechanism. The comfort-oriented combat gear is light, strong, practical, and ample for greater wearing comfort. It also enhances safety by reducing the soldier's thermal and visual signature. Other advantages include its modular ballistic protection and fire resistance, adapted to each mission. Thanks to the around-the-corner sighting eyepiece on the helmet, the wearer can observe without exposing themselves to enemy fire. They can see their weapon's line of sight remotely and, when necessary, display the image from their weapon scope on their computer. The French military has deployed this system in mainland France and overseas operations, having received more than 20,000 units of the Phelan system from the developers. The Comfort Combiante Futuro or Future Warfighter is the Spanish Army's 21st century infantryman equipment built around a real-time command and control system provided to every squad member. The suit includes a portable monitor that displays information such as position and navigation and situational awareness. The helmet, which resembles a biker's helmet, has a mounted camera and night sensor connected to the firearm to allow for around-the-corner shooting. Its bulletproof vest is equipped with top-tech gadgets such as radios, telemeters, batteries, and an endurance module. The suit also comes with a backpack, which is integrated into the bulletproof vest. The exciting features of the suit are the fact that it is highly comfortable and reduces infrared signature, as well as provide thermal stability. It has an electronic system that provides key capabilities such as positional awareness of the soldier and his fellow squad members, and team position information. The Comfort suit leverages the technology of the German IDZ system, which was developed by EADS. The Comfort project is expected to cost the Spanish Ministry of Defense 24.5 million euros, and the contract was awarded to EADS Defense and Security Systems Spain as far back as September 2006. Comfort also has a sweat outlet system, a desirable feature not found in the American and Russian military suits. The suit also incorporates a host of other features such as mission planning tool, voice, and data communication with the rest of squad members, squad leader, and the leader of the platoon. Geo-reference sketches, drawings, and pictures, health monitoring system, and data logger for after-action review tool. Features that have only been seen in sci-fi movies about future wars. Totally awesome. IDZ ES For a country known for its scrupulousness and technology, it is expected that the German military developers are more interested in the safety and protection of their soldiers, with little emphasis on comfort. Their multi-purpose battlesuit project has a funny name, IDZ-ES, 
The suit is very thick and rigid, providing the much needed protection against firearms and strikes from blunt objects. The combat suit is flame-proof and designed to repel insects. Just as the other projects we've talked about in this video, they lay emphasis on the hybridization of the soldier and his armor, and it has the same high-tech navigation tools. What stands out about the future German soldier suit is the portable mini-computer, which combines commanding and navigation. This quite simply means when the soldier is in the battlefield observing the surroundings, he sees the location of the friendly forces, location of hostiles, the dislocation of his partners, as well as the command of his or her chief simultaneously on a screen. He or she even gets to see themselves on an interactive map, which allows for a more coordinated attack. The armor itself has numerous subsystems, one of which protects from firearms and explosives. Contour Exoskeleton As you may have probably guessed, the Chinese are not being left behind in the development of advanced military uniforms. Their super suit project is focused more on the mobility of the soldier than the protection and automatic information collection by means of inbuilt electronics. Their project, which is a contour exoskeleton, isn't a suit nor an armor. It is the second exact skeleton of the soldier. The device is worn over the regular uniform and is attached to the back, knees, and arms. The single but impressive function of this suit is to give the soldier super strength. Five miles an hour. I got this, I can move, I can run. The suit works by reading the soldier's movement and supports them with an effectiveness ratio of five to one, which means the soldier is five times stronger. For example, during an experiment conducted, a soldier carried a weight of 100 pounds along with a long distance without any show of effort. The suit provides all around improved mobility for the soldier. Carbon nanotubes. Since the commencement of chemical and biological warfare 100 years ago, militaries around the world realized that the value of the military lie not in the deadly effects of these deadly substances, but on the measures taken to protect the frontline warriors. In a bid to counter these chemical attacks, the soldiers have been made to put on protective gears that add to the burden a soldier has to carry. Take for example, the American troops deployed in the Middle East face the cruel challenges of wearing full protective gear as they fight in highly unfavorable climates against enemies believed to be equipped with chemical warfare agents. They are obliged to adorn gas masks and other protective gears that are generally miserable to wear and so uncomfortable. The full protective gear against chemical and biological agents deprives the soldier of fresh air and in no time, the wearer begins to sweat. Worse still, there's no outlet for sweat or evaporation of perspiration, which leads to a reduction in the soldier's alertness and mental focus after a long period. The solution to this problem is a protective gear that breathes, a gear that allows the flow of air, the evaporation of sweat, and most importantly, block chemical and biological agents. This is where a technology regarded as a second skin comes into play. Dynamic, multifunctional materials that are fully integrated at the molecular level an innovation made possible by carbon nanotubes. For long, carbon has been recognized as the building block of life because of its ability to build larger and more complex molecular structure than any other element. Carbon nanotubes are made up of nanotubes which are basically nanoscale pipes or hoses. According to Anne M. Stark of Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, carbon nanotubes can function as pipelines which with the help of researchers, is being developed into fabrics that will be 5,000 times smaller in diameter than the human hair. It will provide means for air and water to pass through, but also block biological agents. Because of the compactness of this, deadly biological and chemical agents, they aren't able to penetrate the ultrafine layer of the carbon nanotube fabric. The best part of this invention is its ability to be made into breathable, smart protective fabric, which may cover any fit of full body clothing helmet and gloves, eliminating the need for bulky, miserable protective gear. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wondering about these terrifying military suits. The suits, no doubt, look out of this world, stuff we only see in intergalactic war movies. If you come across a mysterious photo online and want us to look into it, just send it over and we may even feature it in a future video. After carrying out our research, we found that one is a futuristic sci-fi armor concept designed by Russian concept illustrator Michael Lomonosov, while Dynatech Industries' Dom Lay designed the other. The next military uniform you are about to see is just as awesome as these two. I think it's way cooler. And the number one suit is... Talos. 
say hello to the real-life Iron Man suit. The Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, Talos, is the name of a robotic exoskeleton being designed by the United States Special Operations Command with the help of laboratories, universities, and the technology industry. It is reported that the Talos body armor will be bulletproof, weaponized, and have the ability to monitor vitals and give the soldier enhanced strength and view. Although not meant for the entire squad, the suit will comprise layers of smart materials and sensors and will be worn only by lead operators who would breach a door first to protect them as they are the most exposed to the team in that situation. The suit will offer more than double the protection offered by standard infantry body armor from small firearms. It will also weigh 25% less than the standard protective gear. The suit is fully bulletproof, bomb blast resistant, and surprisingly light to improve the wearer's mobility and perspiration. It also comes with a helmet that has a heads-up display, augmented reality, and a robust communication system. The helmet is equipped with a hyper-enabled operator technology, which provides highly secured communication links, cloud-based computing, and augmented reality. Despite reports that the initial deadline for the United States Special Operations Command to deliver a prototype for the high-profile tactical assault light operator suit was missed, the command's leadership is confident that it will test a powered exoskeleton in the nearest future. They have the money they need here, and all we do is bring the technology so they can take a look at it. And that's it for the most powerful and advanced military uniforms in the world. What do you think about these military uniforms? And if you had a chance to try any one of them out, which would you pick? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. If you love this video, you should definitely check out other exciting videos on our channel.